Shannon with Girls in the Stacks, and I'm here today at the beautiful Westin in Dallas with Sophie Jordan, author of Firelight, among others. <laughs> but this is her first teen book. Right, right. YA debut. That's right. Yes. And um, so, have you been getting responses from other people saying, like comparing Will and Jacinda to um, Edward and Bella? Yes. Or you think goes back to Twilight? Open up with that. <laughs> Everything goes back to Twilight. Um, it, you know, I have not a lot, but it's definitely there. And um, I don't know. It's been interesting because I mean, I, I read the first book of the series, but not even the others. She did not. I know. Have to say that. I know. I know. <laughs> but um, and I did enjoy it. But I think just coming from you know, I write adult romances. You know, having such a strong romantic relationship at the core of the story is a pretty natural thing for me to do. Uh -huh. And the fact that it's a forbidden, I think it's just because it's a forbidden love kind of thing right. is what is reminiscent. Mm -hmm. But I think that's very, again, not just common in adult romance, even more common in YA because there has to be conflict. There has to be. And um, conflict in the romance is when they shouldn't be feeling what they're feeling for each other mm -hmm. in the young adult romance. Yes. I know. Especially since they're serious. So you have to I like know, continue. But, but then I think there's, I, um, I guess I can acknowledge that similarity, but I can acknowledge more dissimilarities. And um, I think it's, you know, she is my paranormal figure. It's not the other way around. The other way around, yeah. Right. She, and, uh, she's a cool dragon. She's a very strong girl. She's just um, fighting not so much for, yeah, she, she is strong. Boy. They're both kind of strong. They are, they are. Twilight, where Bella uh, is kind of a weaker. I think she's more fighting for, who she wants to be than just for the boy. Right. Now he mm -hmm. relates That's to that. True. He's part of the, who she wants to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, Jacinda and my book, her driving force is to, to you know, define yeah. herself and be who she wants to be without betraying who goes around her. Yeah. All right, so um, what were you doing when you found out that the Firelight was bought for film rights? I nice. Were you at like Target? Oh, gosh, I didn't or? Think when I got that call. Okay, okay. She has to think I about have to think about the call. Because, because, okay, okay, it's, it's here now. Well, the first thing is, I heard there was interest from two, there was another company besides, another well-known company besides Mandalay, and we were uh, negotiating some other things with the film scout, and we, we asked them to wait a week. We had to tie up some things. So, um, this is what, and my agent keeps everything very low-key, because she doesn't want to get my hopes up. So I'm used to getting, it's hard to, it's hard to read these things from her. So um, when she called and she said, um, I got a phone call, and it wasn't just Mandalay, it was the president of Mandalay who called, who read the whole book already. It was Kathy Shulman, who's the producer of Crash. And she called my agent, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You had the phone call with her, and she had all these things to say about the book, and I couldn't get over the fact that she read my book. Right. And um, that she wanted to preempt it. She knew there was another production company interested, and she just said, no, let's, let's do this. You don't need to wait. We don't want to wait a week. So right. um, it happened that quickly. And I was um, at my daughter's swim practice. That's what I remember. So I'm sitting there. You know, it's very hot and <laughs> on the side of the pool, and, you know. Thankfully, yeah. there's coaches, so my daughter's not drowning. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm over there talking about, you know, a movie deal. Like, I know. And, you know, people around me, but, you know, that's, yeah, like, that's the my way life. I roll. And my life is this juxtaposition of being, you know, a full time author and a stay at home mom. Mm -hmm. Is that swim practice? I do too. <laughs> yeah. And him, him too. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so what are you working on now? I'm finishing revisions for the second Firelight novel, which. I announced the title today. I don't you know did? You I have not. I've been, been, been at the school all day. No. Well, there you go. You're the so student. it is? It's titled Vanish, which is a firelight novel, which uh, when you read the book, when you see the book, it's going to make a lot of sense. Okay. I mean, if you read Firelight, you, as you have. I'm trying to, I have theories in my head And right you read now. the ending, there might be a little bit of an idea of where you get the title Vanish from mm -hmm. already, having read the ending of Firelight. Right. But I can say that, you know, through so many points, um, various points in the second novel, that's how she feels both emotionally and somewhat physically too. You right. Know, there's that there's the sense of vanish. And actually, I wrote a sentence with a word in it, and it's actually one of those words I was writing more than once in the book. Vanish. So, vanished. So, you know, there's the title. So, there's the title. <laughs> Yay! Okay.
Okay, so what's in your stack? What are you reading right now? You know, in your spare oh, yeah. time. You have um, so much, I'm sure. Well, on the airplane. I'm afraid ride. to confess this, although I do know there are uh, other right readers who do this. I probably read three or four things at once. Okay, I just did that this week. Did you do that? I just I it's find hard. it's a mood, you know. I, I like to have, given what my mood is at night. You know, I might have a historical fiction, I might have a young adult novel, I might have a romance novel, and it's really in a paranormal, maybe contemporary. It's just, you know, I'm in a different right. mood depending mm -hmm. on the night. And it doesn't, I, I don't have a problem stopping and starting. It, it doesn't take anything. See, what happens when I get, like, too much into, like, um, a book, though, I can't stop reading it. So, like, I'm just up all night. Well, that's, that's good. That's what I hope. So that's yeah, why I, I can't I read nobody's so many reading time. Firelight at the same time as my other books. Although, that's what I do. <laughs> So, uh, I'm reading Afterlife by Claudia Gray. Oh, okay, Gray. yeah. Angel yeah. Fire, I have that on my stack. I have, um, let's see, I have a romance novel by Teresa Madero's on my stack. So, you know, I'm just, I have, I'm lucky, I, I, you know, as you are, you get the arcs early. Yeah. Like, it's just like a Christmas present, you it know? It is. You just want to read it, it really right away. It really is. And then you're like, oh. And then, but then I feel like I have to wait longer, you know, till the next one comes out. You better so, get away. It better be the next arc, or it's even right, longer, right? It's I like know. really long. Right, so I'm going to look for Vanish in my um, mailbox very soon. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> Spring. I'm still finishing the final in, uh, revisions. No, in my email then. I'll take okay, an email. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what that is. So now we're um, going to talk about our Stat Girl interesting, interesting author tidbits. Oh. Oh, yes. It is stuffy. This is where it is. I'm feeling cautious. <laughs> All right. So, salty or sweet? Both. At the same time. People say pretzels, like chocolate covered pretzels. Are you say supposed that? to say what it is? Or no, I like but that's tonight because I say salty. Yeah. So I'm like, I like weird fusion things, so I could do both. Okay. Like some, I was somewhere with Kristen White and uh, April and Pike, and her husband ordered a dessert with bacon on it. It was interesting. <laughs> I know. It was salty and sweet. You know, they say it's like a chocolate cake everything. and a bacon strip on top. Okay. Right. Okay, so cook at home, take out, or dinner out? Um, cook at home. Wow, I don't want to go <laughs> Do you say pop, soda, or coke? Soda. Really? I do. You're from Texas. I don't know. I just say did. coke. I know I knew shit, but my right. mother's English. Maybe that's where it happened. All right. Do you say the source or do you say? Do you use a thesaurus or dictionary? Thesaurus. Country, hip hop, rock, or classical? I'd say it. Or uh, hip hop, I guess. Or pop. <laughs> pop. <laughs> hip hop. That's right. Okay. Star Wars, Harry Potter, or Lord of the Rings? Uh, Harry Potter. Okay. Also, fiction or non fiction? Okay. Fiction. <laughs> Texting, emailing, or talking on the phone? Texting. Yeah, me too. Okay. I'm way texting. I know. Okay, I'm not going to ask you to do this, but truth or dare? Okay. Which one? No, I mean, which oh. one would you choose? I, I know, because I've had so many people say, you're okay. <laughs> uh, truth. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Werewolf or vampire? You have to say Wait, dragon. Well, well, we just think truth or dare. Uh, like, like to volunteer? Can I change it then? Yes. Again, of course. I know. See, I'm sorry. I don't break the rules. I don't. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Werewolf or vampire, then? <laughs> Werewolf. All right. Yeah. I'm a vampire. Kind of werewolf. Well, I'll still be your friend. I'm not surprised. I kind of have a feeling. <laughs> so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thank that. you. It's been a lot of fun. All right. And with that, we'll see you in the stacks. Bye. Bye.